Hi guys, Knife Detector here, and this is going to be a quick one. First thing, I'm going to talk about some knives that I've already done videos on, tell you how it's going with them. Then, I'm going to tell you a story of this knife. And take a look at this beautiful knife right here, just real quick. Um, it is a scout knife, and we're going to talk about that. And there's a little story associated with that, how I got it, and who it used to belong to. So we're going to set this one aside. We'll start that one in about a minute and a half or two minutes. Uh, if you want to fast forward to when I pick this up next uh, to get to that one, be my guest. Okay, guys. First off, I want to show you again my Shap Morgan Wildcat Driller. This is just a beautiful knife. I've, I've been using this. It's developing a patina there, as you can see right there. Uh, this thing has maintained its edge really well. Uh, it's got some type of a carbon steel on there. I want to say it's 1095 carbon. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, like I told you before, this is a Queen DFC, and uh, man, this is just a gorgeous knife. Before it would read, I think it would read 1 out of 30 in there, but now you can barely see it. And this is just a gorgeous knife. I mean, a while back, somebody started to thread the knife that defines me, and this is the one I picked for the knife that defines me at that moment. Um, just love carrying this knife. I have to tell you, I, I do carry it, although I do carry it kind of sparingly. But notice it is getting a couple scratches right there, as happens when you carry your knife. See that in the shield? It's got a couple of scratches. That's what happens, guys. That's pocket wear. But you know what? This knife is my knife, and this is the one that, that I want to be remembered by by my kids. If they remember, hey, Dad used to have a knife like that, this is the one. So I'm going to continue carrying this beautiful knife. Uh, blessed to have it. Happy to own it. I put that right there now recently i did a video on this guy right and i did a comparison and let me tell you um real happy with this one right here uh i know that uh it is made in china and it certainly doesn't look like it uses the same type of delrin uh as uh the vintage one that came out in 1977 does the 51 ot but i have to tell you i've only been carrying this knife for for a few days now and uh i really like this knife I like it a lot. Uh, you know, it, it just falls in your pocket. Because of the curve on it right here, it just kind of rests at the bottom of your pocket. And I look forward to putting miles and miles of pocket wear on this bad boy right here. And uh, let's see what happens when it looks a little bit more scratched up and beat up. I mean, and guess what? It was only 20 bucks on that uh, eBay site called Ecop. So for 20 bucks, a knife that is extremely close to the original, that's really good in my book. So yeah, I'm going to keep that right here. And I'm going to keep using that right there. I really love using that knife, guys. Really love it. All right, so let's move on to this one. Originally, I was going to go ahead and do a guess the knife with this one. But I think I'm just going to show it to you. When I saw this on eBay, something struck me about it. I think because of the age of it. And uh, if you look at this knife, you can tell that this knife does have some age, guys. What do you think that handle material is? What kind of uh, scales are those, do you think? Hmm? You know, I asked the seller if he knew what kind of scales they were. And I had my suspicions, but I wasn't sure until I bought it and did a little bit more research. Look at the way that bolster is kind of stamped into the scale. It's almost like it was pressed on the scale. And on the bottom, you can see some of those that scale material coming out there on the bottom. And... Uh, here you might be able to see a little bit more of what you think that those knife scales might be made out of. Yeah, guys, I think these knife scales are made of wood. Yeah, they're made of wood. They're made to look very textured as if it were wood or maybe even some stag. But yeah, these scales are made of wood, guys. This is a beautiful scout knife. And when they made it, it appears that they just stamped this metal to make bolsters right over the wood itself and here you can see that on the bolsters themselves when they when they pressed it in that the bolsters are starting to take the shape of the the material the wood is made uh, the wood material as well so look at that see the crimping is actually starting to take shape there so aside from that let's take a look at how this knife is put together as you can see uh, the awl kind of shoots off to the side and so does the spring. I don't know if that's just because of uh, age and use or if it was made that way. But from here, from my point of view, it looks like it was made that way. This knife does not appear to have had a great deal of use. But let me tell you a little bit about the history. The previous owner of this knife was an Eagle Scout, no less. 
he was an Eagle Scout and he was a scout master to his sons as well. And I'm very proud to own this knife knowing that it used to belong to an Eagle Scout. So the eBay seller I purchased this from was good enough to sell this to me. I think I, I got this on eBay for like $15 or $16 or something like that. And I was real happy to get it because it just looks so unique, right? Now, um, he was kind enough to let me know that it used to belong to his dad. And it was in a box of memorabilia and things that he had. And so um, he was willing to let go. And I'm very appreciative of that. I want him to know that it has a good home. I'm going to take care of this. This used to have a, a bale right here, as you can see, that probably detached so many years ago. See that? I believe this is carbon steel. Let's take a look at some of these blades. What do you say? Look at that beautiful spear blade. It does not look to have had much use at all, guys. And here we see the name of the brand. Swanworks, Germany. I'm wondering if you have one of these, uh, Tobias, hidden around somewhere there. Swanworks, Germany. I wouldn't doubt it if you have a couple of them. Just a beautiful knife, right? And uh, all it took is a couple of passes on my easy lap, and this thing just came back to razor sharp. It came back to razor sharp nearly instantly. Let's see if it snaps. There is a mid, uh, there's a half, there's a half stop, and then uh, snaps closed. It it was a little bit dirty when I first got it, but man, this thing cleaned up nice. And look at that vintage can opener right there. There's a half stop on the can opener. Snap open. And you know I'm careful with these because I cut myself when I open all these blades. But yeah, snap open right there. Look at that. Let's close this right here. Now I will tell you there's a slight bend right here on uh, this uh, cap lifter screwdriver here. Um, I'm thinking of leaving it like that. I don't think I want to grind it down to here to make it just a little bit bigger. I might still do that or I might try and fix it. But I'm inclined to just leave it as is. Realistically, I'm not going to screw in a lot of uh, screws with this knife right here. Let's close it snap closed can you believe i believe this knife is probably from somewhere between 1910 and 1930 i don't know exactly when paid 15 bucks for it the seller was good enough to sell it for me let's see if it snaps open yeah there is a little snap open there i think it's just a little dirty yeah let's close that and this is a sharp can opener right here let me tell you you can cut yourself with that bad boy really easily let's close it boom look at that such a well-made knife guys such a well-made knife and right there on the badge it says boy scout that leaves no secret this was intended for a boy scout let's go ahead and let's open that can opener yeah it's got a little snap open sharp still snap closed how about the all yeah a little snap open sharp as well little snap closed yeah the craftsmanship of this knife for it to have lasted, uh, you know, a hundred years, you know, is just amazing. I'm really thankful to have this knife and uh, I want to say I'm honored to have it. I'm going to take care of it. I want to thank that eBay seller. Let him know that it's going to a good home. So that's it, guys. Just wanted to show you this beautiful knife. These are out there if you look for them. Um, they're not too common, uh, but they're not incredibly uncommon. Uh, it is possible you find one of these bad boys. So once again, guys, this has been another episode of The Knife Detector, and I detected another beauty. So check it out, my friends. Y'all take care. God bless you, my friends. Keep your knives sharp. Keep your wits even sharper.